I've lived in Lombok for the last seven months and I've heard so many different stories of what goes on at the Tangen Luar fish market. Some people say what happens here is overstated, some people say it's not where it used to be, some people completely deny its existence at all. This is one of the biggest fish markets in Indonesia, but what makes it so unique is not the fish, not in the typical sense of the word anyway, it's the sharks. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy what I'm seeing right now. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. I'm in complete shock. Look at the size of these sharks. They're just being tossed off these boats here, straight into the water. I've never seen anything. Hello, how are you? What? No, I'm okay, I'm okay, thank you. I... No, no smoke for me. No, no. Terima kasih, though. And these fishermen will go to sea 15 days at a time go as far as Australia because they've been doing this for so long that the waters around here you can't find shops so often they're going to illegal waters fishing protected species of shark yo hello and they just get swum in dragged up this ramp and laid out here. This is a daily market, a daily shark market, three weeks of the month every day. It's a fresher shark, pool shark, tiger shark. They're already being de-finned as well. So that's obviously what keeps this whole thing going. Shark fin soup. <laughs> Indonesia is the largest shark catching nation on earth. And yeah, it really looks like that right now. The sharks are brought into this place, which is just a writhing mass of maggots all over the floor. I've been here for about half an hour, 45 minutes now, and there's just more and more sharks coming up. Holy fucking shit, is that just a fin on its own? Oh my fucking god. Surely that isn't just a lone fin. This is a fin? Fin. Fin. Look at the size of that fin. It's absolutely huge. And the fins are obviously the whole reason this thing is going on. The shark fin soup. Mainly in China, Singapore, and demand is growing massively in Vietnam, Thailand, Hong Kong as well. The fin is what makes this such a valuable, lucrative profession. And I mean, just look at the size of that. I think that fin was actually from this manta ray. So it wasn't a shark's fin. But basically, there's only three protected species here and one of them is supposedly the manta ray and clearly they don't give a shit and they're just bringing it in anyway because I know that's a manta ray so if you look here on the wall it says we are committed to stop catching protected species of sharks and rays these are the th only three things that have full protection in Indonesia so there's a Manta, Parry Manta, Giant Manta Ray. This thing, which I'm not even sure what it is, it looks like a like swordfish shot, I'm not sure about that one, and then the whale shot. Everything else 
is basically fair game, even though 80% of these sharks. Now there's bull sharks, tiger sharks, thresher sharks. Are all protected in almost every other country in the world. It's, it's really, really fucked up what's happening here. I don't even know what to say. I'm in shock. This is Manta. This. No Manta. Nabula. That's a Manta. No Manta, no. That's a Manta. Nabula. Nabula. That horse has had enough. It's crazy because when I when I was thinking of coming here, people told me that you just need to act like you're happy to see the sharks, excited to see the sharks, and the fishermen don't even mind you filming. They don't even mind you being there. They're almost proud of their job. They're so like nonchalant about it. And it, the thing is, here, this is probably the most lucrative job you will ever have in your entire life it, 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 it would be easy to hate the fishermen and like I, I don't hate the fishermen they're basically just third world people feeding a first world demand for shark fins and they're being taken advantage of they're just trying to feed their families you know they're just normal people trying to feed their families and just make a living and get by in a place that obviously has a lot of poverty. Yes, yeah, I'm just trying to process it all right now, to be honest. Um, it's the guy with the clipboard, the scrawny guy with the clipboard who doesn't like me. Clearly trying to get me to stop filming and go away. Like He's the first I'm really fucking angry at. It's, it's, the, it's the level above who clearly just don't give a shit about what's going on here, want the money. It's hard, it's like a top-down thing where if you don't educate people about why sharks are so important, if you don't try and change the law and get rid of all the loopholes that allow this stuff to happen. Yeah, it's tough, it's tough. I'm gonna go back over there in a sec when the auction starts. I just really hope they're still not bringing in sharks. I'm genuinely scared to see how many sharks are gonna be there when I get back. Every day this happens. Every day. Hello! Papa Kaba! Bagus! Bagus! Most of these boats are just bringing in normal fish, you know. Um, because these people got to eat too. And they live on the ocean. This is their way of life. At the end of the day. Good morning! Taggy! Oh, actually, I, I lie. There's a shark here on, on the... There's a big... Thresher shark, which seems to kind of be the one coming in most. And in the last 13 years in Indonesia, 80% decline in the population of thresher sharks, which is, they're the ones with the big eyes and they're kind of cool fins. It's really sad. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, they're still bringing in sharks. And it looks like they're getting smaller and smaller as well, which is even more horrible to see. Uh, just plug it off. Still bringing them in. Must have been about an hour and 15 minutes since they first started bringing them in and they're still just coming. But like I said, getting smaller and smaller, which is even more, even more depressing that they're killing the young ones. It's just, it's just awful. I'm not going to go in there because I'm already drawing too much attention to myself but just look how small some of the ones in the middle are. Sharks take about 15 years to reach sexual maturity and in general just produce very few young. So the death of the young ones is just so bad. It's like watching a whole generation of sharks die in front of your eyes and this is one day this happens every day pretty much three weeks of a month they obviously wash them all chop off all the fins apologies if these images are distressing imagine what it's like actually looking at this shit and a kilogram of fin will sell for about $650. I should reiterate as well that 
the fishermen aren't paid that much. That's the person who pays the fishermen who exports it. It's about $650 per kilogram of fin. The, fin, the fishermen are paid. Every two week trip, you get about six to eight million, um, which is about, one million is about $60. So eight million, you're looking at about, $500, $450 for two weeks at sea, which again, here is untold riches. Honestly, the stench of this place is just something else. And there's just maggots all over the floor, everywhere. It's like all these rich people in the Far East just eating their shop in soup, have no idea where it's coming from. I think if more people could see this, more people would think again about what they're doing. No creek creek. What? No creek creek. No creek creek. No, no creek creek. Why not? No creek creek. No click click, he says. The ocean's greatest predator. One of the most amazing creatures on earth. Reduced to this. All those big boats are gone now. They've probably just gone straight back out to sea for another and a three, four, five day journey into probably Australian waters where they go to get the sharks. It's just a constant cycle. And like I said, this happens every day. But how many sharks are even here? Let me try to count them. I'd say there's about 60 sharks here. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. All shapes and sizes. Leopard, bull, silky, hammerhead, fresher. And now that the fins have been taken off, over there you can see they're just starting to completely dismember the meat get the meat off then the skin the bones are also crushed up and sold in china and other parts of the east yeah the skins are dried also sold locally the meat sold locally never seen anything like this oh there's more coming in from the other side these ones are absolutely tiny. Fucking hell. Look how young these sharks are. There's hammerheads here as well. Technically, they're semi-protected in Indonesia. You're not allowed to export them. They can still be sold here. But obviously, once you cut a fin off a shark, how do you know? what shark that's come from and it's loopholes like that and loophole loopholes like indonesian companies have can get licenses for transporting protected species alive and dead which is basically the same thing as export it's just a whole mess of crap hello i don't know what's on that little goblin's back but um it says Denpasar, which is the airport in Bali. Obviously, Olombok's the island to the east of Bali, so maybe Denpasar is where they get exported. As I came on a walk to get away from the sharks, and it looks like more boats are coming in with more sharks. Not quite as big. Like I said, it's almost sadder to see the, the smaller ones. It's just like, what's even the point? The whole place as well. I mean, look at, I'll go down there, but look at the litter and the... Well, like I said, I, I've been in Indonesia for seven months living here now, and the one thing that stands out more than anything is the total disregard for the environment. Hello? Hello. Hello. And it's not the people's fault, it really isn't, because they're all so nice. They're just totally ignorant. And if the government won't pick up your rubbish, what are you going to do? You've got to throw it on the floor, you've got to burn it. If the government won't stop you selling sharks, you're going to sell sharks, catch sharks to feed your family. It's kind of like, it needs to change from the top up. Hello. See, they don't have a... They don't have a care in the world. They're just like, I'm bringing home bread for my, feed my kids. 
it's just like a general lack of education about the importance of all of this stuff. I mean, look at the litter down here. Oh, look at this. I don't think the auction is happening. That woman's obviously just come in and bought some sharp meat. Sharp meat, by the way, is filled with mercury because they're the top of the food chain. So like women, pregnant women, children, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. so bad for them. Um, yeah, just another really sad thing about what's going on here. All of this is for the fin. Make no mistake about that. The rest is just getting as much money out of it as possible. Still bringing more baby sharks in. I think we're over a hundred sharks brought in today now. That's the thing on the back. I don't know what it translates to, I'll try to find out. When is the auction? Ah, no auction? No, 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 no. Why not? No English. Oh, no English? Ah, oh, okay. I've gone for a little walk into the village to see what life is like for the people who live here. Hello? Abakaba? And straight away you can see again there's just litter, plastic everywhere but the government don't provide clean drinking water, you gotta buy bottles, they don't pick up your rubbish, you gotta have got to dump it or burn it, it's not really much other option sadly. Hello? Hello. Uh, alhamdulillah bike. Bagus. Yes. Can I, can I take it there with you? Of course. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Ariel. Ariel. Sayanama Eddie. Uh, where are you from? England. England. Okay. Where do you live? I live in uh, Kuta. Oh. Okay, okay. Your selfie. Ah, the, the light is not good. Cheers. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you, brother. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <clears throat> See, the people here are perfectly nice, just normal people trying to live their lives. There's a lot of puppies as well. Hello. Hello. How are you? Dear God, that dog had like half its fucking brain hanging out. Yeah, as I've been saying throughout this video, oh my God, ducklings! You can't, you can't blame these people. It's just not their fault. Hello. Look at them. Um, it's the demand for shark fins that's doing this. It's the lack of other opportunities that's doing this. It's a really hard thing to sort out. <laughs> Hello. I'm okay, I don't smoke. Thank you though. Terry Makassi. See, so offering me cigarettes. Lovely people. Right, let's see what um the houses are like. Hello. I've got a gang of kids chasing me now. I don't think uh, this is a place tourists usually come, which is crazy because it's about an hour's drive from Kuta where I live, which is basically Bali 2.0. Hello, how are you? Bye. 
Hello. 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 Good morning, Peggy. Halo. Halo. Apa kabar? Baik, baik. Pagi. Dari mana ini? Dari mana? Dari mana? Iya, dari mana situ? Dari sana? Iya, dari mana? Saya nama Edi. Edi? Oh, bagus namanya. Your name? Eh, Salman. Salman? Iya, Pak Salman. Bagus namanya. Eh, Raja Salman. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Raja Salman. Oke, okay, nice to meet you, brother. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Sama-sama. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, apa kabar? Baik. Hello. Hello. Hello, apa kabar? Hello. Yeah, now that you see where these fishermen live, the kind of conditions, the kind of houses, the kind of struggle they're going through, you can understand more. Someone's just shouting tourists at me. You can understand more why. Catching a few sharks to survive and feed your family is maybe not such a bad way to go. Right, I'm going back once more. The auction hasn't started. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. A jolly guy just asked me if I've got a picture of the shark. Right, there's no auction going on here. Maybe the auction is something that used to happen and now they've stopped it happening, so it maybe like creates more of a show, brings more of a crowd, brings more attention. It's more just... I think the meat is now just weighed. Weighed and put into boxes and maybe sold elsewhere in a kind of less dramatic style. But yeah, I've seen enough, I think. It's time to get out of here. Bye bye. Bye bye. That guy's my new best friend. I was actually planning on coming here tomorrow as well, so I was like, I don't know if I'll see that many shops today. So obviously every year, the amount of shots they're bringing gets less and less, but also that now I think driving them to go further and further. This demand for the shots is only increasing. Um, I'm not coming back tomorrow. I don't ever want to come back to this place. A part of me wants to just go home, have a nap, and pretend this was all some kind of weird nightmare. But I'm glad it's over. I just, I just want to get out of here now. It's, it's, it, 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 it's sad and the whole the, the, the complexity of the whole situation just makes it so much worse and so much I don't know, unsolvable hard to tackle, like I said it has to come from the government um, sharks have been around longer than dinosaurs they survived so many things before this I really hope they can get through this right now but at the moment a hundred million sharks are killed every year. That's 3.17 sharks killed by humans every second. And sharks kill on average four, five humans a year. Which is just crazy. It is, they get such a bad rep. They're such an important creature. And if we don't do something now to stop this stuff happening, there won't be any left. And the knock-on effect on our oceans, on the whole 
balance of the planet from that it's just going to be completely catastrophic and it's got to come from the government it's got to come from the indonesian government it's got to come from wildlife conservation it's got to come from everything to come here and try and sort this out and sort out what's going on all over the world especially in these parts of asia where demand for shark fin soup is so high yeah so please share this video especially if you think if you're in indonesia if you're in a position where you can maybe do something about this or raise awareness of what's going on here because pretty soon ending the hunting of sharks is not going to be a choice there aren't going to be any sharks left if this keeps happening so yeah thanks for watching this has probably been one of the hardest and most depressing videos i've ever had to make but I think it was important to draw attention to this, especially since it's happening so close. Like Bali is like a 20 minute boat journey away. Kuta Lombok where I live is a similar, very touristy, very popular area. And obviously, hello. Hello. But obviously no tourists ever come here. Hello. No tourists ever come here really, which is why the kids are so obsessed with me. They're just like, what's going on? Um, yeah, that ends the video. Thanks for watching. I really hope this will change. Because the sharks aren't going to save themselves and they need help now before it's too late.